Hi gorgeous soul and welcome to this Friday Flow video. My name is Annika Soloma Frey and I'm a soul connectrix and alignment coach and today we're talking about the eight spiritual senses, the eight spiritual ways that guidance can come in for you, the way you receive it. Now every single one of us receives guidance or is able to receive guidance. Some of us are better in it than others maybe we have a knack for it we have a talent for it or we have been practicing it for a very long time but when we come into this world as children we are all connected to source energy and through programming and the way we grow up in our circumstances we get disconnected from the universe from the universal knowledge from the the ability to know what's next for us on our soul path. Now, when we're on our spiritual journey, we're tapping back into those abilities and we're tapping back into our spiritual senses. Every single one of us is able to receive guidance from our spirit team, from the universe, from our soul, from whatever you want to call it, about our next steps, about the best way to make a decision, about things in our life and we're all we all get trained and disconnected very young from these abilities now I want to go through a list of the eight senses so you can feel into them and feel what with what do I identify the most what works best for me how do I receive guidance because I bet in your life you have received guidance before and if you know how you receive guidance you can actually put your awareness on it and train it and get better and better and better in it for most of us it is a blend of those eight senses but just pick the one that resonates the most with you and when you have started training that maybe others will follow too first we have to clear audience so clear hearing you hear things when you receive guidance you hear words you hear answers they're very loud and clear in your head and most of us when that happens it goes i made that up i just i want to hear that don't dismiss it listen to it listen to what comes in from listening nothing will happen it's just listen to what's coming in if your clear audience is the strongest sense in you. Then there's clear cognizance. I just knew that would happen. I just knew that was the right choice for me. Those are things that people say who, whose strongest sense is the clear cognizance. Then we have the clear empathy, which is also connected to, to the clear sentience. Clear empathy is the clear emotional feeling, while clear sentience is the clear physical feeling. So when the clear sentience is your strongest sense, you get goosebumps, you feel it tingles in your body, you just um, feel a physical sense of relaxation or excitement in your body. You feel your heart expand. Those are all things that people who's um, most developed sense the clear sentience is, that those are things that people say with the clear emotional feeling the clear empathy you feel it like a, a wave of love or a wave of excitement or like you feel the emotion rolling through you and working inside you that's what happens like when you say like i just felt that was right or this didn't feel right for me that's what we say for both of these senses but mean different things for them then there's clear gustance i cannot describe what clear gustance feels like <laughs> because it's clear tasting you're tasting if things are right for you or not but i know i have he heard people say that didn't taste right for me or no i i can taste it it doesn't feel right or i can taste it and it, it is delicious that's the right choice for me right same with the smelling with the nose the clear salience we i it didn't smell right for me or i just it smelled really good for me 
that's what they say and then people look funny because like how can a, a decision smell good or bad and we also know this from language language patterns right it didn't smell right is a very commonly used phrase and that's the phrase people whose strongest sense declare salience is <laughs> i need to make sure i'm not mixing them up um would say then there's the clear tangents with that you touch things and they just they feel right when you touch them it's not a physical sense of feeling that goes through your body and it's not an emotional feeling in your body it's when you touch things and people they feel right i have that sometimes when i pick out veggies and um <laughs> when i'm in the supermarket and like two melons look the same i touch them and i know which one to take and then there is clairvoyance, the clear saying, you see things and that's how I receive my guidance too. I see my soul path, I see auras around people, I see the energy streams, I see the spirit team behind them or around them, standing around them. And when you train the sense, you can get to experiences that are very different from what other people experience who haven't trained their spiritual senses. So those are the eight. Clear audience, clear hearing, clear cognizance, clear knowing, clear empathy, clear emotional feeling and clear sentience, clear physical feeling, the clear gustins and clear salience, the clear tasting and smelling, the clear tangience, clear touching, <laughs> and the clairvoyance, the seeing of things if you like this video please like subscribe love do all the things you can do with this video and i'm gonna i'm hoping i'm gonna see you soon again and until then may your life be filled with flow